Hello and welcome to Groover Tea. We're here at Elro opening and I'm stood with the lovely Patrick Topic. Hello. Hey, you all right? I'm fine, how are you? I'm really good, yeah. Are you good to be back on the island? Yeah, it's my first time here this summer, so I've been waiting, looking forward to this for ages, so it's wicked to be here, yeah. Before you started playing in Ibiza, had you partied here a lot before? Yeah, sure. I've been coming, this is the seventh year I've been coming to Ibiza and it's the third year I've been playing, so yeah, I did like four four years of partying here before I was playing. Wow, yeah. so <laughs> what, to come here, it must be like, oh my god, amazing. Yeah, it's absolutely wicked. <laughs> so you've had like two amazing years, you've been number one on the Tech House Beatport chart like three times. Did you ever think you were going to be this big and get this far? No, never. It's a, it's a surprise to me as well. I know it's something I, I never dreamed of it's taken off quite like it has. So yeah, I'm just really happy with the way it's gone. Lately, you played at um, Movement in Detroit, and on social media, you said it's been one of the biggest honours of your career. Why was it so special? What makes it so special? Yeah, totally. I mean, just like with the history of Detroit and techno and then that festival's kind of uh, it's quite legendary it's been going for 15 years or something I think so uh, yeah just with, all with the history of Detroit I don't know and just to go there it felt kind of like I don't know almost like a pilgrimage or something <laughs> so I was there playing and it, I don't know I just felt it surreal it was mint. <laughs> so you've had as we said before two very very good years what have we got to come this year in 2015 apart from being in Ibiza for 11 dates you're here is yeah, that right? Yeah, yeah 11 uh, yeah, well, I've got lots of music coming. I've got an EP coming on Hot Creations, which I'm really excited. It's been coming for ages, like, it's it's ready, and then we've just been changing tracks, and, like, it's been taking ages to come out, but it is coming, which I'm really looking forward to that. And then I've got um, a r next thing I do, I'm doing a remix for Crosstown Rebels, that should be out in a couple of weeks, and then a remix for Suara, Koyu's label, that's coming out wow. at the 3rd of August. I'm really excited about that remix as well. It's a little bit tougher than anything I've, I've made before, but I'm excited for that to come out. And then I'm sitting on loads of tracks I've made over the last few years, and like as soon as the Hot Creations one is out, I'm going to have another AP come in. I think I'll be after the summer though, but yeah. <laughs> so this is your first ever time here at Elro. And um, I guess you've seen before, every week the stage is different, there's a different decoration. So our question is, if you could choose to have your stage or DJ booth decorated in any way whatsoever, what would it be and why? Uh, I don't know, something... This is going to sound proper nerdy, Some, <laughs> something like the, the Matrix or Terminator or something. <laughs> I don't know. Why? I don't, I don't know, it's the first thing that came to my head. <laughs> that did sound really nerdy. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we'll, we'll try that one. Next time we'll try that one. Thank you so much um, and we hope you have a fantastic night, a first time at Elro and we will see you downstairs on the dance floor. Yeah, cheers. Thank you very much and thank you for watching Groovity at Elro opening.